Hey Virgo, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Just a couple of things. There is an extended at the end of the video, which is available on Vimeo or Patreon. The link for that will be in the comment section below. You can book a personal reading with me um, by checking out my website. All that will also be in the description as well as where you guys can purchase the Neon Awakening tarot deck. If you're on Instagram, look me up. I think it's under AAF Tarot. Um, add me and I will add you back. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into it. By the way, there is a giveaway. So if you enter your sign, sun, moon, rising, and Venus in the comment section below, you have a potential of winning an extended reading. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, what do you want me to, to go over when it comes to Virgo and their love life right now? What, what, what do you want me? To, I'm doing things a little bit different where it's not as... Um, Virgo's like, what do you mean you're doing it different? It's not as organized, right? But I'm going to try to do a little bit more of like free flowing. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you don't, if you're like, go back to the other way, let me know too, okay? What, what do you want me to, to tell Virgo about their current romantic situation? What, what, what messages do you have here? Okay, the sun. Some of you may be a Leo um, Virgo cusp or you guys may be dealing with the Leo. But right now I feel like there's a lot of happiness around you in whatever situation you're 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 in. I feel like there's a lot of self-love right now and how you feel on the inside, it's also projecting to the outside where I feel like a lot of people are around you right now and they're watching you. I definitely feel like Virgo, there may be either a new love interest that's coming in here or somebody that you're starting to have um, really deep feelings for, right? But it's interesting to me because with the ace of cups and the sun this this energy is an energy where it's like you value yourself like th there's a lot of self love here and i feel like because you're 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 experiencing a lot of self love it's it's reflecting where i feel like whoever you're dealing with why is this not straight whoever you're dealing with it's like they're very attracted to you like like there's an energy here virgo where there's a lot of creativity. Um, there's a lot of emotions growing. And, and I feel like this is a situation that wants to stabilize. Um, possibly Aries energy, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But I feel like there's definitely a partnership that's brewing between you and somebody. And whether or not this is something that is brand new or this is a relationship that's almost renewing, it feels like this is a totally different energy than what I feel like you guys have had in the past. Um, and I also feel like this, this is a situation that wants to move very quickly, Virgo. Like, I don't know why, but the situation with this person, it wants to progress. It's like this person is like, okay, I like you. Let's do this, right? At the same point in time, I do feel like the person is being very, very patient with you. And I feel like they're really taking the time or even you, Virgo, you're taking the time to get to know them. Um, I feel like things are moving at your tempo and I feel like there's a lot of transformation that's coming with inside of the situation and I do feel like there's a lot of expansion here because I feel like with this person, not only do you guys connect in a um, physical sense, right, where you find them attractive, you enjoy what they're talking about, and um, but it's also it's an emotional connection, but it's also a metaphysical. I, I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's almost like you've done this before in the past. Sag energy. Um, but it's definitely all about expansion. I don't know why, but I, but I definitely feel like when it comes to temperance, there is a level of expansion here. And I feel like you're going about things in a manner where it's with moderations, right? So it's not like you're diving balls deep into something completely where it's like an instant like whirlwind love affair. Like I feel like you're really taking the time to get to know this person and this person is taking the time to get to know you. And I feel like there's a very spiritual connection between the two of you where um, you're really trying to test the waters to see where things are going with, with, with you and them. Ooh. For some of you also, Gemini, Virgo, um, Cancer, Aries energy, this is an energy where I feel like, um, again, you may have really manifested this person. These cards are going to like drive me fucking nuts because they're not straight. I'm sorry, Virgo. You know, 
Trust me when I tell you, like, I wish they were straight, but it's really hard to, like, record and then... So I'm sorry in advance. Virgo's like, if, if she doesn't get these damn cards perfectly straight... Mm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, but I really do like this person's, you know, the way that things are flowing. It's like things are naturally moving at the pace that they need to. What, what do you want me to tell them about their partner right now? What do you want me to tell Virgo about their partner's overall energy? Queen of Wands. I mean, this is somebody that's very attractive. I mean, I, I think that you're dealing with somebody, Virgo, who is a go-getter. You're dealing with somebody who, um, if they want something, they go get it. Like, this is not somebody that's going to sit there and think for very long. Um, they're naturally going to take the lead. And there is a level of confidence that is around them. And, and I feel like when it does come to this person, they're also, um, like I said earlier, I feel like this person is very spiritual. Um, Taurus, Cancer energy, Aries energy. But I do feel like, again, I feel like this person is a healer. And I feel like there's things that you may or may not know about this person. But again, I, I feel like this person acts with a sense of caution. I feel like this person is very cognizant of the way that they communicate with you, the way that they say things to you. It's like this person wants to make sure that they don't fuck things up with you. And I feel like with this person, they're studying you. That's another thing. I feel like this person is studying you. I feel like they're paying attention to the way that you talk, the things that you say. Like this person is very into the minute details. And I also feel like with this person, they want structure and they want stability. This is somebody who typically um, wants to stay in a very traditional marriage or a traditional family type of type of situation. But it's weird because I also feel like with this person, Virgo, um, as traditional as they are, I feel like they're traditional with kind of like a new age twist here. Um, but this person is very solid and, and, and I do feel like they act with a higher level of consciousness. Like, for instance, this person, um, you know, they believe in karma. Like you're dealing with somebody who is highly spiritual, even if they've not admitted it to you, they are. But I feel like you know that about them. Ace of Pentacles. Um and the Ten of Pentacles. I definitely feel like there is a huge potential here for a new start. And again, I feel like this is something that you've manifested with the Sun and the Magician. And it's crazy because when you have the Sun and the Ace of Pentacles, it's almost like what you've manifested is now here in solid form. So with this person, there is a very strong possibility, Virgo, that you and them can really take things off of the ground and see where things are going. Um, I do also feel like with the Ten of Cups here too, they may have a family or there may be some type of family situation with kids and that type of thing. But I get heavily like this person is looking to, to date to marry. They're looking to date to have a relationship, a stable relationship, something that is long lasting and something that's very significant. Wow, look, I cut the or cut the pentacles. I cut the deck and it's the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person has acknowledged like, okay, yep, that's the person, right? And this is a uh, Mercury in Virgo. So with this person, I feel like they're paying very close attention to detail when it comes to you and how you and this person are communicating. You're communicating on the same page. It, it, it's like you say something and this person is on board or this person has the same thoughts and the same feelings as you. But the one thing that I really like about this person is that there's no sword energy here. So this person isn't in their head about you. They're not worried or concerned necessarily with like what is to come with your relationship or your situation. But this is somebody who, again, likes to fantasize about what is to come. For those of you guys that are in the age frame, like I feel like they fantasize about having children with you. I think that this person has fantasized um, about marrying you, even though I feel like this is a relatively either newer situation or this is a situation in the past that's like feels new because the person has done a lot of soul searching and a lot of digging where now it's like, okay, this is what I have to offer. Um, what do you want me to tell Virgo about how this person really feels about Virgo romantically? Wow. The two of cups. 
Uh, that's Venus and Cancer with the Ace of Swords. I feel like with you, Virgo, they're very clear with how they feel about you. They're very clear with um, how you make them feel. And I feel like anyone that has a Venus in Cancer, Venus in Cancer pays very close attention to what is happening, right? Venus in Cancer is somebody that needs emotional uh, stability, emotional confirmation. But I feel like with this person, there's a level of enlightenment between your relationship together. There's something very significant here where it's like, I feel like you're stimulating them mentally. And because you're stimulating this person mentally, it's like you're getting a certain type of love. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but this is a very emotional connection. And I feel like this is a soulmate connection 100%. I feel like there's a lot of unity. I feel like there's a lot of harmony. Um, they feel like you guys can be the best of friends, but also to be in love, right? I, I definitely feel like this person feels like they've done this before with you. Um, and I, I feel that with this person, they're really trying to strategize on exactly how to approach you because I do think that they are in their head about what exactly you want and, and, and what you need. But I also feel like they really do admire you. Let me ask, why is this person in their head about Virgo? Why are they in their head about Virgo? Why are they, why are they stuck in their head about Virgo? Mm, the nine of cups because I think that your wish fulfillment for them I think that with this person it's like they're trying to figure out what action they need to take in order to make you happy because two of wands is Mars and Aries and by the way for those of you guys um there's always like one person that gets upset when I explain the signs with the planets but that's how I read and it gives you more information. So if you guys go look up Mars and Aries, you're going to see the way that a Mars and Aries takes a level of action. Like with this person, they love your face. This person loves your hair. This person wants to like touch your hair. Like they, they find it very attractive. There's something with this person where it's like they want to take action immediately, but they're really having to like rein in their natural emotions to stop themselves from really taking control and doing what they want to do with you. And I feel like they're planning on moving forward with you. I feel like they've made a decision on the fact that they want this partnership and they're in their head because it's like, is this too good to be true? I think that your person in the past has been burned before, which is why it's like they're nervous about feeling the way that they feel about you. I feel like, I don't know if this person works out of town or goes away, but it's like this person, I don't know why I'm saying this, but, but it's like, I feel like this person has had a hard time with things working out with people because I think that this person is very unique. But when it comes to you, it's like they really do want to work on things because they feel like you're very different than them. They feel like you're very special. There's a very like ethereal type of energy around you and this person where it's very, very beautiful. And there is a sense like I know this, this, I don't know why this is coming up. And again, Virgo, we have the neon awakening here too. So let me just throw that out there. But I feel like when it comes to your person, it's almost like they believe that you and them, like it was in the stars. Like that's what I'm saying. Like whoever you're dealing with is somebody that is very spiritual where they understand the other realm of things. And I feel like with this person, they feel like you're put into their life for a reason that, that this is a divine union with you and that there is a life purpose and that they can have everything that they want with you. Um, how does this person, how do they, um, or, or let, let's, what is, what is something that is blocking this connection or what is an outside influence with this connect with this connection an outside influence that may be blocking the situation with Virgo and this person. Okay. Possibly a Pisces or an Aquarius or a Taurus. It can be that there's somebody here, Virgo, that you need to let go of possibly. It may be somebody from the past, a Taurus or a Scorpio. Um, 
I feel like it's a past connection, Virgo, that you think about a lot, that, that it's somebody that you need to let go of. So whether that's somebody that you talk to occasionally, I feel like, here's what I think. I think that whoever this person is, and I think that it's on your end because it's the hermit energy, I don't feel like it's on their end. But I feel like this is this is a situation because, let me see, how, how does uh, Virgo's person of interest, how do they feel about this person coming in and blocking the situation? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Like, I think that it would be really upsetting to them. How does Virgo feel about this, 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 this person that is a block for them? The two of swords, it's, here's the thing with the two of swords, right? That's moon and Libra. I feel like with this person, you have always still considered them an option. Like, I don't think that you've necessarily let go of them. Like, I feel like you've moved on, but I still feel like you think about the person. I think that there was still an energy, like a hopeful energy that this person would do the right thing, Virgo, but it's like they didn't. And I feel like with this person, there was a lot of indecision where they couldn't give you a straight answer. Do you want to be with me? Yes or no. It's like they, they, they always lived in this gray area that caused a lot of confusion and almost like they caused this confusion with you, Virgo, in order to stall you or in order to kind of keep you stuck in place, right? Where it was like you, you had the idea with this person that it could be something, right? It's like they always wanted you to stay stuck in a place where that idea of you and them being together would stop you from moving on with somebody else. That's why I feel like you're, it's almost like you're hung up on a situation from the past. And it's a situation where it's like, it has to end. And it's like, you, you almost have to accept the fact that if you want something real with this person, you're going to have to let that other energy go. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I'm getting that really strongly. Um, what do you, what, what's coming in in the near, or what, what do you want me to tell Virgo over these next couple of weeks? What can Virgo expect with, with this person over the next couple of weeks? Ooh, okay. The emperor. I definitely 100% feel like there's somebody here that's going to be making some type of move. Um, what can Virgo expect romantically over these next couple of weeks? What can Virgo expect romantically over these next couple of weeks? Wow. Things are changing, Virgo, but I do want to say this. Let me just get these cards out. I feel like, wow, I feel like you are going to be entering into some type of serious relationship, okay? I feel like there's somebody here, there's an emperor where they're really going to be stepping up right now to defend, um, you know, you. So whether this is a new person or an old person, I can't tell yet because I do feel like this energy is different than what's blocking you. Um... Sorry, I'm trying to like take a cup, a sip of coffee. Coffee. There you go. I feel very strongly that there's an action that's going to be taken here by somebody who's really been dragging their feet or somebody that's been trying to wait. Like, I feel like whoever this is, they're no longer waiting on whatever action they need to take towards you. I feel like whatever happens between this person, um... I feel like whatever this person does, it's like they've been waiting for a period of time to take this action and it changes the entire direction or projection of your relationship. Like this is totally a turn of events and this is something where I feel like, like what's the energy of this devil? Mm, the nine of swords. Because here's the thing, I feel like Virgo, you're trying to move on from this situation and I feel like this person doesn't want to let you go. But I, but I, and, and I feel like this person purposely reaches out to you to stop your healing, to stop your growth. It's like, this is an energy of a very fixated energy. You have somebody that's very, very fixated on you, like highly fixated on you, where I feel like it can be toxic and there is a level of illusions around this person and I feel like the reason that this is happening is because whoever you were dealing with in the past, it's like 
they're realizing that they love you now and that this is something that they've never really acknowledged up until this point. So I feel like they're they're going to try to do whatever they have to do in order to win you back, but it's 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 for like a sense of control. I feel like there's some type of emotional outbreak here where somebody is communicating and and you're going to you're going to take this communication as as like almost like an emotional outbreak. But I also feel like you enter into some type of relationship, some type of partnership here. Okay, now let's see what's going on with um, your person. Let's let's get that info out. How does um? Whoa. All right. So how does Virgo's person? What what's in their what's in their head when they're thinking about Virgo? What's what's in their what's in their head? when they're thinking about Virgo, okay? The Ace of Swords. And, and, and what's in this person's heart space? What's in this person's heart space when it comes to Virgo? Ooh, okay. So, the Chariot and, um, whoa. The chariot and the hierophant. This person really, really, really likes you. Like this person like wants to settle down with you. Like there's an energy here where I feel like they want to move in with you. Th this, this person wants to take action, but it's like action to like make things right between the two of you. Um, what, what is this person's next action towards Virgo? What is this person's next action towards Virgo romantically? Okay, Ace of Wands, beautiful. And what is their intention behind this action? What is their intention behind this action with Virgo? Ooh, the Queen of Cups, but let me put that back because the Four of Swords popped out. W what is their intention with Virgo romantically? Well, let's just ask that. The Nine of Pentacles, Okay, so that's Venus and Virgo. So that definitely may be a solid partnership. Um, and, and what is this person, what is something Virgo needs to know about this person that, that they don't know yet? What is something Virgo needs to know about this person that they don't know yet? Okay, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this person watches you. Yeah. I feel like this person watches you uh, significantly. So... Virgo, because this is the only space that I have currently on my desk area. Um, we're going to go over these and then we also go over Oracle messages that come in and also what the best potential outcome is for the relationship. And let me pull that card now so you guys can kind of see it. Okay. What's the best potential outcome here for Virgo and this person? What's the best potential outcome here for Virgo and this person? Okay. Romantic feelings. Children, you may have children with this person. I don't know why. Reconciliation. Now, regardless, Virgo, if this is a new person or a past person, you and this person have been together, whether it's in this lifetime or next. So there is reconciliation coming for your love life. Um, and I feel like this is kind of this newer energy, Virgo, but I definitely feel like something here is coming in. And I'm really, really curious to see what's happening. The other thing I wanted to tell you guys before I let you go is that whoever you're dealing with, they've been thinking about you very heavy. I feel like there's a lot of people that are thinking about you, but I think that you're going to have to make a decision with which one you want. So with that being said, Virgo, this is your reading. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, Girl Scout.